I've nailed together three sheets of MDF and painted them white and purchased this little seven inch screen for testing the motherboards. And this is going to be my setup for recording into the future. But let's proceed with this week's video. So let's continue on from where we left off last week. This is our Dell LA F611P motherboard with a power on, no display fault. So what we did last week, we observed that when the power is connected, the board immediately starts drawing 350 milliamps without the power button being pressed. We verified that our VSYS power rail is at 18 volts and our 3.3 volts and 5 volts power rails are present. We've also confirmed that all other secondary voltages are online except for the CPU voltages. We're getting no voltage across the inductors to the CPU. I've checked with the terminal camera and as you can see below the only thing heating up is the GPU and I've also confirmed that the laptop does seem to respond when I ground the power button but it doesn't switch on. So that's where we were last week let's continue troubleshooting. Now a number of you posted some very helpful comments underneath last week's video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work along with those comments as I carry out some further troubleshooting. So we're going to start with Nick and Nick's comment was everything looks normal so we'll go for the bias again. Now this is the bias I see on this laptop right here and as we know in many cases a power on no display symptom can be caused by a corrupt bias. I took a copy of the original bias file and this is what I saw when I loaded into ME Analyzer. So as you can see here the file system state is down as configured. Now from what I've read that is usually initialized if it's unclean but if it's down as configured I think that means that the ME region is good. Maybe one of you clever guys can correct me on that below in the comments. But after I took that copy of the original BIOS file I went searching for a number of other possible good BIOS files for this and this is what I found. So this is a list of all of the BIOS files that I found. I've included the name of the website that I got them from and the file name that it was uploaded under. I tried programming my BIOS IC with every single one of these, but nothing makes any difference. Now, is it still worth my while taking the original BIOS and trying to clean the ME region? Please post down in the comments below. After trying all of those different BIOS files and it having made no difference, I concluded that the issue is probably not with the BIOS and we need to look elsewhere. Now you might remember last week that the GPU was the only component that was heating up. Ian posted a comment below. I usually only see systems with integrated graphics but I don't think there's any way that the GPU should be warming up before the CPU is on. I thought that as well Ian but similar to you I also only see the laptops that I get through the channel here and they also have the integrated graphics. So maybe somebody could confirm that down below. I initially assumed that the GPU coming on immediately and drawing 350 milliamps was indication of a problem, but maybe that's not the case. Please post down in the comments below if you have anything to add. When I removed inductor PLVO3, PLVO2 and PLVO1 which all carry power to the GPU I discovered that the power draw went down from 350 milliamps to about 150 milliamps. Now it was suggested in the comments below last week to also remove this inductor right here so I removed this also and when I did that the current draw then went down to approximately 69 milliamps. So after removing those four inductors, you can see that we are now drawing just 67 milliamps. And if we check with our thermal camera, you can see that that GPU is no longer heating up. So what's drawing our 67 milliamps? Well, if we look over to this side of the board, we can see there is one IC that seems to be getting warm. If I point at it, it says 18.4 degrees Celsius. So which IC is it? So having effectively disconnected the GPU, the only thing that is heating up on the motherboard is this IC right here, PUZ01. That's the one that you saw heating up in the previous section of video. Now Jeff called this on last week's comments, maybe check the CPU power IC, which is PUZ01, PUZ01. Uh, confirm all the powers and signals into it firstly, then all the PWM signals out of it. I don't have an os oscilloscope to check for that, but maybe I can get my hands on one. But 
should that IC be drawing 67 milliamps? See, the laptop is sort of powering on and bringing all of the secondary power rails online, so it's not like it's actually fully powered off or in standby mode, but it's obviously not generating those power rails either. Is it drawing 67 milliamps an indication of a problem with this? Should I just replace it? What do you think? Now, unfortunately, Photoshop crashed, and the image that I was using to make these videos for this motherboard is now corrupted. But what I'm going to try and do is just persist with this anyway, even if I'm not going to be able to show it on screen as well as I would have liked. But what steps should I take next? Should I just replace POZ01? Should I go back to the BIOS IC, take the original ROM, clean the ME region and load it back on? Or maybe there's something else I need to check. Please post down in the comments below and I'll be back to do a part 3 on this next week.